I'm Ilham Abdelkareem. I'm doing my master in Masdar Institute and Chemical Engineering Department. As we know, like uh, the main sources of water in uh, UAE is the groundwater and desalinated water. So in desalination, there is different technologies they are using to desalinate water. And by using a pretreatment step, we are reducing the inorganic and biofouling. This will benefit the UAE and other countries as well. And here where innovation comes. My name is Amar Raisi. I'm in the Engineering System and Management Department in the iSmart Center. The research and the project that I'm working on is uh, with Strata Company and it's related to thermal imaging. Basically, we take uh, airplane parts and we do testing on them to find any defects or delaminations that uh, occurs within the part itself. This project will have really good benefit to the UAE. It will improve the industrial development in the region and it will have a strong impact on uh, production and manufacturing line. That will help the UAE to be one of the pioneers, especially in the aerospace sector. When I started my uh, research in Masdar Institute, I wanted something, a research that is related to the UAE, to the region. I wanted to uh, at least give something back to the, to the country and something uh, that I'll be proud of in the future. My name is Sabina Lutatidu and I've been studying in the Water and Environmental Engineering program in Master Institute for the past two years. I was uh, initially approached by my advisor, Dr. Hassan Arafat, with this idea of conducting a simplified uh, tangibly powered desalination within the scope of the United Arab Emirates. Desalination is an expensive process. Um, powering it with renewable makes it even more expensive. So I think this type of research that I'm doing could perhaps make more sense in poor areas where they don't have connection to the grid. And it would be uh, perhaps the only solution to try to integrate renewable energy to treat the water and uh, make sure that they cover their needs with uh, potable and safe water for the children, for the, for the community. And by working on it, they will hopefully find a solution that integrate new elements and make it innovative. My name is Omar Safras. At the moment, I'm still a second-year mechanical engineering student, and uh, I got this opportunity through Master to study in the most sustainable campus in the world. I'm trying to improve the efficiency of uh, air conditioning systems. Uh, like in this region, uh, it's really hot and humid, so improving the efficiency of uh, air conditioning system can result in a lot of energy savings, and uh, that can save a lot of money we are combining different components in a new way. These uh, components basically they recover the energy which we are wasting through ventilation. So we are recovering that energy through these components. My name is Bushra. Uh, I'm from Thailand and I've been studying here for two years. I'm a master's student in Water and Environment Engineering program. My project is related to quantifying the aerosol optical depth, which is useful because it's used for measuring the turbidity, the optical thickness of the atmosphere. And uh, that is important because we are in UAE, which is you know, a desert region, so we're making use of a relatively cheap and easy to use instrument called the cilometer. So that way we're able to you know, invert the signals and make use of it to quantify the aerosols. It's quite something new for this region and also it's sustainable in a way because we're making use of an efficient um, resource that we have and the instrument that we have. My name is uh, Alec. I'm graduating from CIS department, Computing and Information Department from Mazdar Institute. My thesis is about uh, next generation power grid. So we were trying to establish a bridge between theoretical computer science and power engineering. And our goal was uh, to find an efficient algorithms that would allow to optimize and to uh, control the load in a more beneficial way. The innovation is the, something that would drive the science and the world. So the main contribution of uh, our study is that the current uh, electricity grid, it gives you constant electricity. But the next generation grid, it, it will be computationally more smarter and it will allow to integrate renewable energy. This is beneficial both in maximizing benefit and in worst case guarantee. 
My name is Omar Mizhar. Uh, I'm in the ESM department here at Maslat Institute. This is my second and final year. I joined the student body in 2013. My thesis is uh, correlating population diversity uh, with innovation. The idea is to understand how a diverse population affects innovation within a specific country itself. The country itself, the UAE, has 90% rate of diversity, so 90% of its people are foreign-born citizens. So by understanding their impacts and their potential power or their potential outputs towards innovation would be something very essential and uh, should be implemented into the announced 2015 National Innovation Strategy. So in regards to innovation in the country, I see it's trying to develop uh, a knowledge-based economy, trying to release its dependence on uh, natural resources and uh, they've taken a chance with me and I'm trying to return the investment for the nation and try to give them strong policy recommendations towards the end.